You're watching Eagle News broadcasting from Washington, D.C. Another school for ministers of the Church of Christ was inaugurated, this time in Johnsonville, Connecticut. Eagle News' Abigail Mayo has the story. Studies have shown that schools have a great impact in revitalizing communities by bringing new opportunities and rebirth to areas in need of redevelopment. For nearly 20 years, Johnsonville Village in Moody's, Connecticut stood abandoned until 2017 when the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ purchased the town and brought new life to this once forgotten area. Today, the Iglesia Ni Cristo, in connection with its efforts to redevelop the town of Johnsonville, inaugurated a new extension of its school for ministers. Iglesia de Cristo Church of Christ School for Ministers, 40 Johnsonville Road, Moodus, Connecticut, USA, 06469. Inaugurated the 17th day of January, 2020. Signed by our Executive Minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Ang pagbubukas ng paaralan dito sa uh, Johnsonville ay naging o naging isang malaking tulong sa community kasi biglang naging vibrant ang uh, community sapagkat uh, sumaya, nagkaroon ng mga uh, karagdagang mga tao at uh, ang activities and movement within the area ay uh, naging aktibo because of the school for ministers. Now we will have the tour of the school and the facilities. Previously, under the Iglesia Ni Cristo's New Era University, called the College of Evangelical Ministry, established in September of 1974, the main campus of the School for Ministers is located in Quezon City, Philippines, and now has nine extensions outside the Philippines. When schools are established in developing areas, such as Johnsonville, their presence attracts people, helping boost businesses of the local economy. Schools also function like community centers, offering aid in times of uncertainty. I hope by having our school here, we can bring more community members into our church, into our local activities around the neighborhood. While the establishment of the village of Moodis is as early as 1662, with the newly established school for ministers here in Johnsonville, its new residents, the students of the school, hope to continue to uplift this community. I hope that we're able to bring sort of a youthful energy to this community. I know back in Washington, D.C., um, every time before an evangelical mission, we'd go out, we would propagate in full force. Uh, we'd be out for hours propagating, and I hope we can bring that same energy here in Johnsonville, Connecticut. Hopefully we can have the community excited about these events. Hopefully we can have many more activities with the help of the church administration. It's very isolated. There may be people out here that need that um, spiritual uplifting, that need that, uh, that love of community. But we can have that opportunity to have propagational activities, uh, aid to humanities, we can have edification activity spot, we can have saturation drives, uh, community outreaches. Uh, we won't be shy to reach out to any of our neighbors that are around this place. Uh, we'll be sure to do our part when it comes to propagation and also edification by brethren coming here. They'll be happy to see us. In the, in the near future, this place will just grow. Reporting from the School for Ministers in Johnsonville, Connecticut, this is Abigail Mayo from Eagle News, 1 with 25. So exciting for the whole community. Thanks, Abigail. That is today's Eagle News. Join us again tomorrow for stories that matter to you. Visit our websites at eaglenews.net and eaglenewslive.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash eaglenews and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Eagle News. Thank you for watching. I am Rose Papa Angelis, and I am one with 25.